Today we have a little bonus video because true racks from Mule Deer come out tomorrow and as a lot of you guys know I've been trying to get a legacy rack diamond Mule Deer that's not blonde fur type for a while now and honestly after last week we got another blonde one I really thought that was going to be the last legacy rack level 5 Mule Deer I found but I spent about 6 hours in single player just grinding respawns on Silver Ridge Peaks yesterday and this guy showed up. I'm not sure if he's common or gray fur type but he's definitely not the blonde fur type, but I just figured respawns have been really good on this map and I wanted to give it one final try, and to be honest, I did not expect it to actually work, but I decided actually that the first Legacy Rack Diamond Mule Deer we shot in our trophy lodge was taken with the muzzleloader, and I think it would be fitting to actually get the last Legacy Rack Diamond Mule Deer in our trophy lodge being taken with the muzzleloader as well, but I just realized that the bleat call is not 200 meters like most callers, it's 150. So we'll get in here just a little bit closer. I want to stand him up and if we can take a hard shot, that would be really cool. I don't actually think a hard shot would be required to drop him, but I think that's what I want to go for. So we'll zero for 150. And I think probably the best thing to do is call again, because that should stop him. And if he stands still long enough, I'm not sure it was a hard shot, but definitely was a drop shot but yeah I mean I'll show you where I actually ran into him because I pretty much decided yesterday that I was just gonna grind drink stones which they're really short on Silver Ridge Peaks but as always I mean the animals end up congregated around the water so you can see this hunting pressure here I actually shot like I think three mule deer out of his herd and then he ran by me up here and like I said it was during his drink time and I just could not find his drink stone I spent probably an hour after I initially saw him trying to figure out where his zone was, but I eventually gave up on that and came down here to this rest zone, which oddly enough is the zone where I killed the last diamond mule deer, the blonde one in multiplayer, so I found that kind of interesting, but unfortunately he chose to stop in a bunch of brush, so not much of a screenshot happening there, but we did get the hard shot, actually double lung as well, a 528 is not bad, and he is a gray fur type, which is actually pretty cool. I think I'd rather the gray over the common. But we actually got one the day before True Racks from Mule come out. We have a non blonde fur type diamond Mule Deer, and I just thought it would be cool to take one with the muzzleloader. We haven't used the muzzleloader in a while. Honestly, I don't know what the last diamond we shot with a muzzleloader is, so that's a cool one to get. It might have actually been that elk, but we'll head back to the trophy lodge and find a spot for him. I think actually this could be a really good room because there's a ton of variety in here, but there are three different turkeys mounted, so two of them are just small diamonds, and actually I think I like this spot the best, so we're going to take that guy down, and we'll go ahead and put our new mule deer in here, and I think we're just going to go with that pose, because I think that might be the pose I have all of my mule deer in, but something about it just really shows off how big those antlers are, and they look so much better now that they made the model size like appropriate for mule deer. They just look so good, and I can't believe we got that. I just kind of had that feeling that with Silver Ridge Peaks respawns being as good as they've been, I had a decent chance, but to actually get one of the fur types I wanted when it seems like blonde is so much more common, that's really, really lucky, but I'm so glad we actually have that. It just kind of felt incomplete with having three blonde diamonds, but now getting that bit of variety with the Mule Deer uh, furs, that's cool, and I can't wait to start adding some Drurak ones in here, but anyway... That is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.